sold my first thing, a pair of Western earrings from my friend Kay on Instagram. There it comes up here, Kay Taylor. Is that exciting? Thank you so much. to our channel hey guys uh, we have just currently driven all the way to Lake Louise to do the tea house hike up to the little tea house which is about an hour hike one way and unfortunately the parking is full so we've now driven out to Paley Lake we've never been here before it is very tourist filled but it's a lot more quieter than the other places at the moment right, we've got wolf with us don't we buddy oh <laughs> He's very excited. We let him out in Banff Town for a little bit of... Oh, actually, it wasn't Banff Town. Lake Louise little yeah. village to um, stretch his legs. And we're going to go off for a little hike to Pado Lake now, which is only... I think it's 10 or 15 minute hike. It's nothing. And I wouldn't really call it a hike. It's more of a walk. And then we're going to try and look for somewhere else to go hiking. But yeah, well, someone's here in a pram, so it couldn't be too difficult. Yeah, someone's pushing <laughs> a pram, so it <laughs> can't be that bad. Anyway, let's go. My you excited, Wolf? <laughs> I think he's happy to get out of the car. Yeah. The truck. It's so pretty, hey Connor? Yeah. It's so quiet. Yeah, there's quite a few people here, but it's not anywhere near as busy as Lake Louise. Yeah, I'd say Lake Louise would be queues and be written for people to move out the way. Connor's got his bear spray. I don't think we'll need it here. But uh, our first proper hike, other than Johnston Canyon, and it's paved. I don't think you really call that a hike. What do you see, Wolf? Hey? Luckily, you're on a lead.
You enjoying your time, Wolf? Are we trying to take Instagram reels of you? He keeps saying a little squirrel down there, don't you, buddy? All right, so now we're walking down the side of where all the railing is to try and get the good photos where no one else is and it looks more natural and where it looks more Instagram worthy, whereas before that's reality. Up there is where all the railing is. Yeah, and there's nobody down here. Woof! Come on! Back, being bear aware. Not that steep, is it? No. <laughs> Looks it from the top, though. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, good. Whoa, look at this. Hey? Wow. It's hard to record and find a pathway down here, but you gotta do what Bake wants to do. Yeah, well, there's no point in videoing for our vlog if we've got nothing on it. Okay, you don't have to vlog that. <laughs> so how are we getting down here? Because this looks steep. Well, we could get down. I'm just concerned about Wolf. I'd have to go the other way. Do you know how close that is? Yeah. Um, stop. Which, what's the other way? What do you mean by the other way? Well, the other way would be through this, these woods. Okay, let's go through the woods. Jeez. Hopefully they don't come across a bear. Yeah. Oh my god, I just fell. <laughs> or Bigfoot. I'd rather see Bigfoot than a bear. And you can't hear any other anyone else. Yeah, it's dead silent here. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Oh my god, I nearly rolled my ankle. You can see the blue water. Car, a truck for motorbike. <laughs> a motorbike but yeah. Look how beautiful it is. This is why we came to Canada. We've only got five more months of my visa left, don't we? Yeah, we'll have to get that sorted. Yeah. But Thankfully, I've got the visa in waiting for a decision. Well, we do some pictures here. You know what I'd love to do? Do a time lapse here, but like over like eight hours. Obviously, I'd have to stay here for eight hours, but just set the camera up for eight hours, have well, loads of batteries, and get like a whole time lapse of this. Well, I could just leave you here. <laughs> it's so pretty, isn't it? That's a big glacier up on the mountain. Yeah, up there. That's awesome. I'd love to bring horses, not here, but... I oh, see so you want to do a time lapse and bring a horse up here. A few horses, and with a few mates, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be dangerous at all. Well, not here, but through this country. I was just saying to Connor about how still and quiet it is here. And imagining, like, no one swims down there. Well, I don't think they do. Do they? I don't think so. So you could pretty much just sit here and wait for like a bear to drink off the edge of the lake. What is wrong, buddy? The colour is just unreal. He wants to be let loose. Yeah, the colour's crazy. You got an eggshell? You found an eggshell? Look at that bird. You could get some good shots out here of wildlife, I reckon. Mm. If you have the time to wait. Snapping more photos of this spunk. It's not focusing. There we go. Wolf soaking up the sun. Big difference here, hey, being allowed to take your dog to a national park. In Australia, you're not allowed to. It's nice. 
Yeah. Being able to take him out and stretch his legs. I'm a little on edge about bears. <laughs> Other than that, it's so it's pretty. Too steep here for bears. Oh, yeah. It's the mountain lions I'd be worried about. Oh, don't you say that. They're, they're the ones who come here. <laughs> Look at that view and how far the mountains just keep going. Mm. Imagine you were just sitting here and you just hear that mountain lion cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, or okay. a wolf star howling. Time to pack up. That's when we just set our little wolf over to them. You just make friends with them. <laughs> you just, I'm part of the wolf pack now. <laughs> You're a good boy. Careful you don't fall, buddy. Stay yeah, here. They <laughs> just let you off to get you off. Come here. Come here. Come here. You good boy. You good boy. Lick your face. No, you don't lick my face. Mm -hmm. I bet you a lot of Australian dogs haven't got to see this. Hey? Eh? You're a very lucky boy. I know Harley would have loved to have seen this and Turbo. <clears throat> oh, I feel yeah, like big, I was. Big what? waterfall there. Didn't even notice that. Where? Or like, coming down right here? Right in the shade, yeah. Yeah, is that melting off the glacier? Or? It must be. I really feel like I was born to be in Canada. Oh, or North America. I was born in the wrong country. This is so nice. And people go, why would you want to live in Canada or Alberta? Those people have no idea. <laughs> or they're not like me. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna be a little lover hiding under the cover in the pouring rain. Paddock. Smokey is our miniature horse if you're new here and if you've been following me on Instagram you know that Smokey's friends that are in his neighboring paddock um, most of them have moved to the front now so he has kindly been trying to make me build him a paddock in the back in the front sorry front yard um, I know that sounds strange saying that a horse is trying to get me to do it but he keeps taking me out the front and getting me to follow him I did film a little bit of the yard on um, Instagram and on my phone, so I'll insert that here. But Connor's out the front now with the chainsaw trying to make it a little bit more horse friendly. It was blocked off, but uh, Smokey pushed his way through here. And during the week, I've been 
going through and picking up all of this wood. All right, here is the yard. It is really pretty, especially during fall, but there is so much hazardous spots where Smokey could hurt himself, like fallen tree limbs and bits of old fencing. So Connor's can come through now with the chainsaw. I picked up all the stuff that was already on the ground during the week. Smokey's mates are down there in the paddock and Smokey's just here, aren't you bud? So like we've got this old fence down here and he's decided he wants this as his paddock so he's been going back in his yard at night. Oi! Where are you going you little bugger? It's really pretty but I want to get rid of all these trees that have grown all through here which is going to take a while and then make this into a yard it goes right round too and there's the rocky mountains right there i don't know whether you can see them with this lens on so it'd be a really nice yard and then we'd have another yard this is our paddock too but we let the neighbors use that and then smoky's original yard we can use for my future horse as well and it has a shelter too which is nice for when it's snowing and bad wind and whatever but yeah there's a lot of work to be done in here to make it a permanent yard for Smokey. But fall is so pretty here in Canada. We love every single season, even winter, as most people don't, but we do. Look at the colors, it's just so beautiful. I'll take you guys around to the backyard and show you the colors there too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> beep, beep. Hey, Hey bud. Alright, Smokey's here. He looks a bit mangy. He had lice, which is why some of his hair is missing and a bit mangy and yucky looking. He's, he's had a bath obviously and we've looked after him, but he had lice from the auction. Then we found out he had Cushing's disease. So he's on medication, but it's made him stop eating. He still eats grass, but he won't eat his hard feed that we give him. So we have cut his medication in half. He's only on a quarter of a tablet at the moment, just to try and get him used to it again let his appetite rise up again and then he'll go back to his normal dose and hopefully he'll be all right that's all with the vet's instructions by the way that's not me just making it up anyway connor's made a cute little trail for smoky just take you through here like look how beautiful the trees are the sky's so white at the moment so it's not really showing the true color of the yellowed leaves but Look how pretty it is. Like a little forest in our backyard. So pretty. We're gonna have a lot of leaves to pick up by the end of fall. Look at that. The veggie garden, that's going nowhere at the moment. We um got way too many weeds in it after the snowfall and I tried to get rid of them and then sort of gave up with trying to open up the business and everything there's always next year or when we own our own little property so now we're renting here and hopefully once we get our permanent residency we can buy our own ranch and then it's all permanent stuff you don't mind putting the hard work into something because it's going to be there forever all right so this is the little walkway Connor's cut through and you go through here there's the Rockies and then this is a yard through here and it wraps right around to where we were at the front with Smokey and when Connor was cutting, oh my goodness, cutting down the trees, it wraps right around there. The only problem is we can't keep Smokey in here full time because he'll eat too much and that's not good for a little mini pony so he has to be limited, that's why he is the other yard for at night and then this one will be for a couple of hours a day. Oh, good boy. Come on. Guys, we're about to go for a walk, but what a change it's been since our last video showing the backyard of how much leaves have actually fallen. They're a lot more yellow than orange and a lot of the trees have lost their leaves. Wolf's a bit excited, aren't you? Hey, bud. Riley's got his backpack on. 
I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but uh, I'm not very good at keeping plants alive. <laughs> well, I think you have to water them. Yeah. I always forget this is our tiny little start of fall slash Halloween setup. We need to add to it. But yeah, we're just going to go for a walk, take you guys down to the horses and um, yeah, it's just a really beautiful day and luckily it hasn't started snowing here yet. So we've been expecting the worst with um, moving here, everyone telling us that don't move to Canada, it's so cold, it's so cold and then I don't know, we've just been expecting the worst, but it's really beautiful weather here in the 1st of October. Just showing off a little bit of our merch here and that sun's catching it perfectly. Thank you to everyone that has bought from us. These are our Out West uh, whiskey glasses. And um, yeah, we really, really appreciate everyone buying everything, but I know I said that earlier in the video. Just waiting on Connor to get me the battery for the camera because it's about to die. These are the leaves I was talking about. The other day they are all there and now they're all on the ground, ready for us to pick up. You don't need anything to eat, buddy. We're just going for a little walk. What does she have? Biscuits. She is not meant to have biscuits. We'll wait out here for you, buddy, okay? You ready, Wolf? So pretty. Now we're waiting on Riley. He's run inside to grab a biscuit, but... um. Such a nice day. Go down here and have a look at the neighbours' horses. I am still looking for a horse, but it's getting towards winter now, and with the responsibility of keeping a horse in winter and not really riding that much, I need to fix my hair. It's sort of a bit silly to buy one until maybe towards the end of winter when they're a little cheaper and people aren't wanting to pay for the hay prices. <laughs> so for now, we've got the neighbours' horses. We've got I think it's nine in total on our property and then plus Smokey, our little mini horse. And he's working away, our neighbour's working away this winter. So he said I can play around with the young'uns. I did say to Connor, pitch the idea that maybe I should get a young horse, like a yearling or a two year old, teach it from the ground up and then, Wolf, what are you doing buddy? And then once it's ready to be broken in, get my neighbour to help, but we'll see. Sort of probably a bit too much of a challenge at the moment with everything going on and starting our business. Probably better to buy a fully broke horse, but that's what I do. I always add extra onto my plate. Oh, you all right, buddy? Let me see. You got a little owie on your tummy? Yeah. Oh, that's just a little freckle, that. You all right? Should we go down and see the horses now? Bruise guy. A bruise? Okay. Just a moment, moment in time, they make me feel nothing like I feel when I look in your eyes. And all I need is you. Right in front of me 
we've got Twister right here. Well, they don't mean a damn. Mm -hmm. Ain't got love. Someone to talk to. Someone to hold. Babe, when I found you. Oh, we're just doing a shit right now. <laughs> that looks so magical with the sun behind, so pretty, and then you're just shit behind me. You're not sure of me, are you, buddy? Hey, I think you're the least sure out of all of them. All right, guys, like usual, it's the end of the video. Like, comment, follow, subscribe, all of that jazz. And go check out our website if you haven't already. I'll put the link here and it's in the description. Yeah, do you want to talk, Connor? Or? Not really. No. no. Just enjoying the view. Yeah. Alright, see you later, guys. See ya.